What's up everybody, we're back again, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Optifine for Minecraft 1.16.1. Uh, what Optifine is, is an optimization mod for Minecraft. It changes some of the math and it allows you to uh, change way more of the, like the rendering settings for Minecraft to basically allow your game to run better. Um, yeah. It also gives you support for shaders, it allows you to, you know, zoom in like people do all the time and stuff, so a lot of people like using that, so... Uh, I'm going to show you how to get it today for 1.16.1. Um, so this is their website. You want to go to this, optifine.net. I'll put a link for it in the description. Uh, right here, it's going to show you all the stuff that you can do with it, which is it's really cool. Um, but what we're worried about on here is the downloads page. So you're going to want to click downloads. And as you can see, it only goes to 1.14.4. But if you see this link up here, it says preview versions. If you click that, you can see that there's actually beta versions of 1.16.1 pre-releases that we can use. So this one came out on the 22nd. That would be today. So we're going to uh, grab this one. We're going to download it. If you guys have never used, uh, this is basically add fly, add focus, or whatever it is, don't click any of the stuff on your screen. What you want is this skip button in the top right. You might have to disable your ad blocker in order to click this. And then uh, just please don't download anything you're not supposed to. Make sure that you're clicking on this link right here. Download Preview Optifine. Or it's going to look like this on their website. Down here it says this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep you know, Optifine anyway, you're going to want to click keep because we know that we're getting Optifine from a trusted source. So the, the issue here is that Chrome identifies any jar file uh, as potentially dangerous because it doesn't know what code is inside that jar file and it is possible to download a malicious, you know, Java program. But we know that this isn't, this is for Minecraft, we know who it comes from, so we're going to click keep. All right. Only do that with stuff you know is safe. Okay, you guys missed that, but after it downloaded, I just dragged it to my desktop. It just took an extra second to download, so I cut. Um, but now what you want to do is uh, you need to make sure before you do this that you have run Minecraft 1.16.1, the version like vanilla. You just have to have the jar file downloaded and the JSON file set up in your versions folder. If you don't know what that means, just make sure that you've run 1.16.1 before you do this. And you should have no issues. So, you're going to want to double click on it. You're going to want to make sure that this is where your Minecraft, you know, is. And that should be right in your roaming folder dot Minecraft. That should be defaulted for everybody unless you're saving your stuff in a separate directory. If you are, you'll know how to change that. If not, just leave it default and click uh, install. And it should say Optifine is successfully installed, and that's it. You literally have Optifine. So now what you can do is you can open up the Minecraft launcher. And uh, I'm not signed in, but you should be able to go to your installations here. And you should see that, hey, now I have a 1.16.1 Optifine installation. And you can see that it, it should show up in your list right here. So you can make your own profile. You can do whatever you want, or you can just use this one right here. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hop into Minecraft and I'm going to show you some of the cool things that Optifine can do. Okay, so now that you can see we are in Minecraft. We have it loaded up and uh, the first thing that we're probably going to want to look at is our settings. So if we go into uh, our options, go into our video settings and you can see that there's a lot more stuff here. Okay. Uh, can come over here we can uh, you can change a bunch of stuff about details the clouds you can turn them on default fast fancy trees you can change that uh, you can you can turn the sky on or off apparently sun and moon you can turn it off you can turn the fog on or off uh, translucent blocks dropped items uh, vignette swamp colors you can turn like a whole plethora of things on and off to help with your performance or just how you like to play the game um, animations look at all the different settings that you can you can change with animations you can turn all of these particle effects you know individually on or off which is pretty cool because you really can't do that in a normal game uh, quality you can turn on fonts custom fonts custom colors uh, and then performance this one is probably where you're going to uh, 
see the biggest change in FPS and stuff. So you can turn on smooth FPS, smooth world, the fast math. What this does is it changes some of the math equations that it uses. Like you can read it says, uses optimized sine and cosine functions, which can better utilize the CPU cache and increase the FPS. And it, this is what this does. It changes the math governing like how the game is rendered to make it work better in certain situations. And that's why a lot of people like uh, like using this. As well as you can you can turn off the FPS counter in the top right and stuff, lag a meter. There's a bunch of cool stuff in here that you can do. But the big thing is shaders, and I'm going to show you uh, in a completely separate video how to do that. Well, that's pretty much going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, uh, comment if you have any questions down below, and if you want to see more stuff like this from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. Um, I just want to let you know that I'm also running an Anarchy server. It's on 1.16.1. It's called The Quarantine. If you want to join that, the IP is mc.voicedev.com. I'll put that in the description as well. But uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.